update video. We're gonna update you on everything. Uh, we didn't show you this last time, but he got it mounted and it's um, mounted pretty well actually. Yeah, I got self tappers on the outside temporarily, but they're still fucking strong. It's sturdy. I mean, when you did that, it shook the car, so. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah, you got, full. yeah, you got fuel. Sweet. So, yeah, there's the fuel tank, but right now we didn't have, well, he ordered the improper length uh, of fuel line. So, uh, he's got a nice little return setup um, that works temporarily. Um, <laughs> it got it here. It got it here, so yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, there it goes. <laughs> there it goes. And then it goes to this fuel pressure regulator. Shout out to... Christopher from Vendetta Racing, or Vendetta Motors. Yeah. Man, that's cool. So it runs so much better with the fuel pressure regulator, huh? Yeah. Yeah? No more idle surge. Uh, had an issue with, like, leaning out at bottom end for some reason. And now that doesn't happen anymore. I got pretty much full throttle play if I want to cruise it or if I want to rip on it. I get the fuel I need at any point in time at any RPM. So we'll let her let her rip in a little bit so you can hear her make some beautiful noises because it likes to make beautiful noises. We're just gonna update you on this because we feel like y'all need an update. We've got this, we've got my truck that we can update you on. Yay, good oil. So oh, he's been. Show this is fucking nasty. It don't matter. We're building a header for this. So. For the second engine that we're gonna use. I'll just be cutting it close to this, but I can trim the plastic. Yeah, it doesn't even use the whole shroud, so I can trim just this little bit off and be fine. I feel like you'll have some room. You might need to angle it upwards a little bit. Yeah. Well, this is gonna be angled like kind of like this. Yeah. So like. It'll have a piece of metal on the bottom closing this off, and then this side we'll just use filler rod to fill that in. Yeah. And then I'll need to get a uh, proper length uh, bolts. You know what? Those those might work. They don't go all the way. Yeah, they don't go all the way through. Yeah, but we're working on building a new header for it because. Uh, yeah, we're the w working on. Um, We've yeah. We've been hitting it. Here's his pretty welds. I know there's slag everywhere, and then here's my bullshit. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna grind this up and. He's gonna go at it and make it look nice. Yeah, we're gonna get it <laughs> solid as hell. So, um, yeah, cause we, we like this setup, but obviously we need to make some improvements because, you know, we could have a lot less lag if we needed it, right? I mean, that's not it the main concern, really right? It doesn't lag that bad, yeah. honestly. Cause it starts building boost like immediately, but like there could be, you know, just a little bit less. Yeah, so, and we should be able to regulate the Wastegate pretty well too, yeah. you know, being straight off the header, know, you know. I don't know where I'm going to put that. I didn't realize, I didn't have an engine put together to actually envision this because this has been parked at my house for like a month or two. Yeah, we're, we're going to, we have a lot of content coming for this soon. We're going to completely redo this entire car and we're going to put crazy right. forged internals in it so we can push as much boost as we want. So the downpipe should be right here. I might have to come up, like, off the center right here on the wastegate. We'll see. I, don't know, we'll I see. mean, I'd like to have it somewhere incorporated in it that looks really nice, you know? Well, like, I wanted it to go this way, but there's the thermostat here. Yeah. And then if you point it down, you can't see it. Yeah. And then, like, the oh. only option would be to come out straight, which I think the downpipe would get in the way, or to come out the top. Yeah. And there's no, really no room over here. Yeah, the inside is still the same. We didn't change much on that. We still need to, to <laughs> we still need to repair the transmission because number two does not have synchrones, so it does not like to. Yeah, I I drove it in second gear, so Ugh. the gears are fine. It's just the synchron's bad. It just slips out. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is finding like a junkyard transmission. And then I'll take like both of them apart to maintenance them, throw some new bearings in, you know. Yeah. Work a little bit of magic. And then uh, 
pretty much finding whichever casings in the better condition which I, I feel like this casings in pretty good condition so that wouldn't really matter but like as far as like shafts gear wear and the rest of whatnot yeah kind of just go from there and maybe I, I, I want to find some new shift linkage yeah because that, that's fine but I want something a little less loose so maybe we might just have to fab something up I don't know we'll figure it out yeah we're, we, we've got a lot coming for this I want, a, I want a short throw on it yeah we're gonna try to make this thing what like an 800 horsepower car yeah I really the current goal is to pretty much have the stock power of like I guess an STI or just a regular like stock boost and then kind of go beyond that so like that's why we're gonna throw forged internals so we don't have to worry about the bottom end and then get <laughs> better so we're making proper boost at proper time I mean it holds 12 psi no problem but yeah. we're we want a little more than that you know yeah and sooner or later but, we'll throw like 26 psi out of filament and if it blows up blows up if it doesn't then hell yeah brother yeah Nothing. It feels better than it did. It's not breaking up a lot. 